I am happy to tell you that we have raised the money we need for the piece of audio equipment that we have to have in the studio to do the audio soundtrack, the music track for the upcoming television series, What Would Mohammed Do? We are creating all original music for this series. I thank those who have contributed so generously to make this happen. Now, we need to raise money. I'm sorry, but I'm telling you, we need a new computer. <laughs> this is almost funny. Only a handful of you are going to be able to appreciate this, but all of you can be educated from this. When you watch television, much of what you see now is not analog tape. It's, it's digital. It's a computer. It's a camera that takes data, X's and O's, into a chip or into a hard drive, and then somebody edits it, and then they render it, and they put it on TV. All right? It sounds simple enough, and at one level it is. The issue is this. The amount of data, the amount of information, computer information, that is coming through these cameras is mind-boggling. We use 4K cameras here in our studio, okay? When you go to a movie, it's 2K. If you go to see the Civil War, Civil War with Captain America, it's, it's shot in 2K. That means that there's an enormous amount of data that's on that screen. It's, it's unthinkable amounts of data. And that's the way it works. If you're going to do TV and you're going to do um, movies, documentaries, you have to have a computer that has the horsepower to have all of that information coming through it on the hard drive side, but also on the processing side. So if you try and edit a TV series on a laptop, even a really good Macintosh laptop, the Mac top goes, you're killing me here. I can't carry all this. It's too, you're, trying to, you're trying to bring this much water through a hose this big. I can't deal with it. So we've recorded all this incredible footage. We've got all this great stuff. And we're editing the series right now on a smaller uh, Macintosh product. But we're, we're doing it in a degraded um, format. I don't know. What, what's the right word that I would say? A smaller bit size? I mean... Smaller amounts of data. So you, you edit it and look at it with data that you could use on YouTube or online. But then when you're all done, you go back and you take the original footage, this massive amount of footage, and then you do the final edit with all that really high definition, beautiful footage. And that little Mac that's been serving you so well goes, ah, <laughs> and then goes, I can't do this. Sorry, I quit. So we have to have the Mac that you would use if you were at Disney or if you were anyplace else. And that is about a $10,000 purchase. We don't have it, but somebody yesterday contacted me and said, I'll give you $5,000. I'll pay for half of it. And we now need to raise the other half. So you might be somebody who says, man, if one other person can do it, I'll do it. Or maybe five of you could say, I'll give a grand. I know, Randall, I trust you're using the money judiciously, and we are. So if you want to help us get it, go to the, the web address you see on the screen or send a check in the mail to the address you see on the screen and help us get this. And I promise you, we will use it as a weapon for righteousness and we will finish editing this series, What Would Muhammad Do?